If you were to ask me if an actor has been putting out consistently interesting work in the confines of video on demand, my answer would be Steven Seagal. Then when he said, no really, I'd have to say Elijah Wood. We know him best as Frodo in Lord of the Rings, but his career the last decade has been defined by a string of always quirky and often compelling indie thrillers. Sometimes he's the star and sometimes he takes a producer role. We've already discussed the very entertaining heist thriller The Trust that he did with Nicolas Cage. I'd also recommend the very tense and Hitchcockian grand piano in which Wood plays a concert pianist who has to deal with a sniper in a balcony who is threatening to blow his head off if he plays a wrong note. I don't feel at home in this world anymore because the titles of Netflix original films are overly long. It was an entertaining mixture of comedy and shocking violence. Open Windows was really bad, but I give it points for trying. It did use the gimmick of setting the entire film on a computer screen before unfriended or searching. I didn't see the Maniac remake. I don't know if it's any good or not. I'll have to phone a friend. Maniac, that's a great movie, not the crappy remake. That was overrated. All right, that brings us to today's movie, Come to Daddy, a movie with a perverted sounding title that's definitely R-rated, but not the kind of movie that you'd need to hide the DVD inside the case for the Lego movie. Elijah Wood plays an emo musician type of fellow who gets a letter from his dad who walked out when he was five, asking him to come and visit him at his middle of nowhere house. When Wood gets there, he realizes that his dad is behaving strangely and that things aren't as they seem. I didn't see a trailer for this one and I didn't read any reviews. That was definitely the right decision as Come to Daddy is one of those movies that you should go in blind for in order to get the full experience. This is the type of movie that I love to watch. Heck, it's the type of movie I love to make. One that starts out as one kind of movie and turns into a completely different kind. And in the case of this movie, a completely different kind after that. Kids, I really enjoyed this movie. It was a very clever and twisted ride and a half, elevated by fun performances and a great sense of humor. Elijah Wood is great as the only somewhat sane person in a cast of eccentrics. With his resting horrified face and shy mannerisms, he's perfect casting for a man thrust in a situation far beyond his control. I love that he seems in over his head during the entire runtime as the situation he's in gets pretty progressively crazier. That's a problem I often have with every man protagonists in movies. They usually start out weak and ill-equipped at the start of the film, but are suddenly superheroes when the script calls for it. What would come to daddy is a more realistic protagonist in that he makes mistakes constantly. If he escapes his situation, he'll often come down to stupid luck. And other than one scene that you'll know when you see it, he stays the regular scared guy that he was in the beginning of the film. Blue Ruin also did this kind of thing well. Come to think of it, that film had a similarly subversive story to it. If you liked Blue Ruin, you'll probably get a kick out of this movie. And that's all I'm going to say about this movie, since I think you should go in knowing as little as possible. Come to Daddy is another strong entry in Elijah Wood's filmography, and a movie that I would definitely recommend. I'm giving this film a 7 out of 10.